So this is my uh, Roborock S50 that I purchased about uh, eight months ago. Uh, it started giving me trouble all of a sudden a month ago and I didn't have a clue about what needs to be done. So I checked a few videos on the YouTube like uh, other friends have posted and then so they showed me clearly how to uh, recharge laser sensor motor that I will be showing you now in a bit. This is the laser sensor motor as you can see. I have opened up the cap or the dome on the top of the robot as you can see here. You will carefully have to unscrew all the screws there as you can see and then remove the lid on top of it top of the laser sensor there you can see it the laser sensor so it looks like basically a motor uh, built into rotate with the scanner scanners down those are the scanners I'm going to remove it now There you see it. So all of a sudden this suddenly stops working to rotate. This should ideally rotate like this. Uh, this is supposed to rotate. In a normal scenario, but when the robo cylinder stops working, this is the first thing that stops. And like I said, uh, we'll need to fix this. Let me show that to you now in a bit. So in order to fix this motor getting rotated, all you need is a USB cable, and then just try and split the wire there. Cut the wire there and then as you can see there are four wires inside the encasing the USB cable. So all you need here for us to kick start or jump start the motor these two wires the red and the black. So please please do not use any other colored cable to fix this as it could lead to problems. So guys as you can see here all you need is basically to have that connection there with the similar colored wires red to the red and black to the black and then so connect the USB to whichever port you like I'm using my laptop here Guys, there you can see. It's rotating now. The sensor is working. So just try and keep this for about uh, 15 to 20 seconds, and then that's about it. You're good to go until it fails again. So I'm not sure what what's causing this problem exactly. I'm gonna keep it back guys. I'm gonna keep this laser sensor back in its position the way it was. There you go. So let's try and start this. So the robot starts up now. Start. Starting the cleanup. 
as you can see guys it's on the box now so that's about it guys so i just cover it up guys now let's just see if it works powering it on So it's working perfectly fine guys. I recommend you to use this method temporarily, if not permanently, until you see the error again. That's it guys, see you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.